Hello, and welcome to the Dex Imaging Help Desk Guide to Installing Windows Print Drivers for HP DesignJet and PageWide XL Wide Format Printers. Before we begin, please note that the version of the driver we're recommending in this video is the HP GL2 driver, which, while having a slightly less appealing printer interface, avoids some compatibility issues we've seen with other driver versions. Let's go ahead and dive in and begin with opening up your preferred web browser. We're using Firefox here, but you can choose Chrome, Edge, or whichever browser you're most comfortable with. And we'll go ahead and navigate to www.deximaging.com service. Once on the Dex Imaging service site, select Resources. Then scroll down and click on HP Downloads. If your browser blocks the site from opening, simply right-click the link and select Open in a new tab. Now that we've got the HP download site open, you'll type your printer's model into the search box. For our example, we're using an HP DesignJet Z9, and you can see as we type Z9, it auto-completes with the full model name, so we'll go ahead and select on that. And here you can see the downloads page for our model. We'll expand the driver printer subsection by clicking the plus sign next to it, then scroll down and expand the basic driver subsection, again by clicking that plus sign. And here we can see the HP Windows HP GL2 driver. We'll click the download link off to the right to download that. It's a really lightweight file. You can see that it completed almost instantly. You can find that download either in the top right, like in our example here, or the bottom left corner if you're using Chrome or a similar browser. Once that file is finished downloading, double click it to open it up, and a window will briefly come up and then disappear. It almost looks like it did nothing, but actually it has extracted the driver files we need. So now we can close or minimize our web browser, and we'll right click on the start menu and select run. In the run dialog box that opens, we're going to type control printers as you see on the screen here, then press enter or click ok. That's going to open up the devices and printers window. Right up at the top, we'll click add a printer. Then in the window that pops up, click the printer I want isn't listed, even if it is. We'll select the bubble for add a printer using an IP address or host name then click Next. Here, in the Device Type box, drop down and select TCP slash IP device. Then type the IP address for your printer into the host name or IP address field. If you don't know the IP, you can find it on your printer's control panel by selecting Connectivity. Click Next once you've entered the IP address, and select Have Disk on the Driver Selection panel. Click Browse to open the File Explorer, then navigate to the folder where you downloaded the driver. In most cases, this will be in the Downloads Library, as in our example here. And we can see in our Downloads folder, there is a folder called WinX64 HPGL2. Open up that folder and select the INF file inside. Click OK in the Install from Disk window, and select the HPGL2 driver, then click Next. Name your printer whatever you'd like it to show up as on your computer, then click Next to finish installing the printer. Ensure Do Not Share This Printer is selected, then click Next, then Finish. And we can see it working on adding that printer, and now if we expand our printers list, we see the HP DesignJet Z9 has been added to our printers. Go ahead and right-click on the printer you just added, then select Printer Properties. Select the Ports tab at top, and then click Configure Port. Uncheck the box for SNMP Status Enabled. This can sometimes cause the printer to show offline, even when it isn't. Click OK to apply the changes. Now we'll discuss changing the default print settings on the driver. From the Devices and Printers window, right-click on the printer and select Printer Properties. Navigate to the Advanced tab, then click Printing Defaults. Here, you can see the default document size, print quality, and paper source options, as well as seeing currently loaded media in the printer. Moving on to the Layout slash Output tab, we can see resizing and orientation options. If you wanted to make your letter-sized prints print out on Arch D size, for example, you could select Fit To and then select the desired output size, or just select Actual Size to output the same size as the input. On the Color tab, you'll find the option to change to grayscale or pure black and white, while on the Job Storage tab, you can enter an account ID to access your stored prints from the control panel. Click OK when finished making changes to apply the default settings. 
And now you're ready to start printing on your HP DesignJet or PageWide XL printer. Thank you for watching the Dex Imaging Help Desk channel. If you found this helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing for more informational content.